Hello and welcome. Andy Bryan here from The Soul Pathway. And today I'm going to be providing you with a collective Soul Pathway reading for August 2022. We're going to be looking at and exploring the energy of the month ahead and what's in store for us for August 2022. I'm sure many of you are already aware that we are going through the Lionsgate portal. And this can bring forth quite intense energies during this time. So it's really essential for you to ride the wave. But what is the main theme of this month with regards to the Lionsgate portal? From my perspective, it's all about connecting with your soul and stepping into who you really are, being that pride line, being proud of who you are and what you stand for as you connect with your passion and your purpose and you live from that each and every day so that you can begin to live much of a, more of a soul aligned life where you're happy, content and fulfilled within each and every moment. But what I will say is during this month, what may happen is if you are out of alignment in certain areas of your life, certain aspects of your shadow may be revealed to you so that you can heal, release and let go, which will assist you in stepping into your purpose and your personal power much more so that you can be much more aligned and again, fulfilled within your life. So let's now look at the actual reading itself and as i've mentioned in previous videos i'm going to be using runes to set the theme for the month so what we're going to do is start off by pulling a rune from this lovely bag what i will say though is before we get started if you have any questions or comments please be sure to reach out to me you can visit my website which is www awakenyoursoulpathway.com and if you're watching or listening to this on YouTube please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you as well but let's have a quick shuffle of these runes and I will pull, pull one out to connect with the theme of the month okay so let me just tune in and connect and we'll see what shows up for this month fantastic that's a beautiful room and i'll leave that there because that will work perfectly there what i do is i just zoom in so you can have a look at it bring that closer to the camera so you can see it and you can see that cross there and i'm just becoming more familiar with runes each and every day because I don't actually use them often, but I'm going to begin using them more and more within my readings. So bear with me while we, while we look at what that really means for us in this moment. Okay. And the name of this rune is Dagaz. And let me read out what this means. Okay. Okay, so we go to number 24. Okay, this is all about embracing the light and change. The beginning of a new cycle. Fortune, marriage, intrigue, thwarted. So from my perspective, if we look at that, it's all about the bringing of the light. And we think about August and it being the month of the summer in the Western Hemisphere as the light shines upon us to connect with our passion but it's also a time for great change and as we say the beginning of a new new cycle it's about letting go and releasing all those things that no longer serve you so that you can start on a clean slate so that you can bring forth more fortune in your life so that's a great start to the reading actually so allow yourself to connect with your light the light within you 
Allow it to illuminate the different aspects of your life so that you can, again, live in alignment with your soul's calling. What is calling you from within so that you can be more content and happy within your life each and every moment. Now what I'm going to do is give this a shuffle as we look at where we are on our spiritual journey and then what is showing up for us. What I'd like for you to do as we listen to this reading is take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Allow yourself to relax and tune in. Whatever comes through to you in this moment or within this reading, allow yourself to reflect upon it as it relates to you and your life, more importantly your spiritual journey, as you move all forward on your path and embrace the journey ahead. As I said, I'm going to just show you these cards and we're going to pull one in a minute. Okay, just fan these out. And I will pull that one to start off the reading. And uh, that's a perfect card, really, for what we were talking about at the beginning of the reading, really. And what I'll do is I'll move it forward and closer so you can see what it says. And this is all about transcendence. It's about transcending the earthly realm, you could say, connecting with spirit, transcending all those wounds, transcending all those cycles, repeated cycles that go over and over again so that you can heal, let go and release so that you can move forward on your journey with much more alignment, as I've said. But transcendence is all about, at the same time, it's all about going through those challenges and obstacles on your journey and path and really noticing them as lessons and learnings and experiences that shape who you are because that's what makes you an individual that's what makes you unique to each and every everybody around you that's what makes you beautiful in your own right so allow yourself to transcend this this earthly conditioning and allow yourself to connect with spirit in a way that you start to notice and realize who you are Bring that sense of beauty and wholeness to that body and soul of yours as you transcend all of those aspects that no longer serve you. That's a beautiful, beautiful card. What I'm going to do is read out from the Soul Pathway Oracle card booklet here as I read out what I've written in here because this is beautiful as well. In Transcendence, we rise above our ordinary limits and live more frequently with our soul's essence. We may encounter difficulties along the way, which serve us and assist us in our growth and spiritual evolution. Each and every situation, whether it appears to be positive or negative, is truly shaping you into who you were meant to be. If you've pulled this card, it is time for you to notice the trials and tribulations you are facing as you shift your consciousness and awareness. You may notice your soul tribe gathering around you to provide you with extra support during this phase of your journey. If you have a mentor in your life, allow yourself to lean on them for guidance. So that's a beautiful thing. And with regards to a mentor, from my perspective, a mentor is someone that helps you stay aligned with what is right and true for you so that you're not going off of, off of your path, so that you can connect with your soul in a way that you can discern with what's not going to be working for you in your life and those aspects of your life that really do serve you. And 
I've mentioned it in many readings before in many videos. But Jiminy Cricket was a perfect mentor for Pinocchio on his journey. You know what Jiminy Cricket always used to say? He always used to say, always let your conscience be your guide. This is all about connecting with your conscience, connecting with your soul, and listening intently to what it's guiding you towards. Because that will assist you on your journey of being much more content and fulfilled within each and every moment. We know that we're always going to be experiencing trials and tribulations in our life and our journey. But we've got to notice them as lessons and learnings that shape us in all beautiful and unique ways. So now that we've done the first set of readings or where we are on our path right now what I'm now going to do is shuffle this deck so I'll give this a nice little shuffle I'm going to see how we move through that phase of transcendence so that you can embrace and embody the wholeness and beauty of self self you know as I said again if you have any questions or comments Please be sure to leave them in the comments section if you're listening to this on YouTube. Or feel free to reach out to me. You can visit my website, which is www.awakenyoursoulpathway.co.uk. Or you can even download my app, which is also entitled Awaken Your Soul Pathway. But let's fan out these cards, and I'll pull three from the pack, put them face down, and then we'll go through them one by one, one step at a time, as we should do with our spiritual journey, embrace all those different aspects, slowly and steadily, as you connect with the path ahead. Pick that one, there, two, and the third one, whatever comes through. I'll take that one. Beautiful. Okay. So we've got those three cards now. Let me um set them out. Put that one down first. Two and three. And then let's just slowly go through them. Let's look at the first one here and see what this brings. One of the most beautiful cards of the deck, actually. So let me show you that. So this is the spirit animal of the buffalo. And the buffalo in Native American cultures is probably one of the most sacred of all animals. Because the buffalo brought the native people of North America, everything they needed in life. So the fur on the back of the buffalo was used to keep them warm. The meat was used to feed them and sustain you know, their body and their muscles. So they can feed them every day. It said the bones were used as toys and also used as tools and other implements. So when it comes to the spirit animal of the buffalo, with regards to yourself, this is all about noticing that you're always being looked after and cared for as you connect with spirit. You know, all of your needs, earthly needs, are already met. So allow yourself to connect with that and embrace that, whatever comes through. If you feel as though you're lacking in an area of your life, call upon the buffalo, connect with it, and know that your prayers are being answered, and you will be able to sustain yourself moving forward. But know that the buffalo is always there to assist you in you noticing 
how you're always being supported in each and every moment. Or however difficult and challenging life's lessons may be at times. So let me again read from my Soul Pathway Oracle pack and the booklet to see what the buffalo said. So the spirit animal of the buffalo brings you the message of abundance. For it provided the Native Americans with all their earthly needs. This is why the buffalo is seen as the most sacred of all animals in native cultures. If you've pulled the card of the buffalo, then now is the time for you to be thankful for all you have. The attitude of gratitude opens the doorway for you to receive abundance much more freely in your life. Take this moment to count your blessings and know that your prayers are being answered. Remember the sacredness of your path as you honour those who walk beside you. When the buffalo travels with you, remain grateful and stay true to yourself. As I already mentioned in this reading, it's all about alignment with your soul. Allow yourself to become aligned with what is right and true for you. Don't allow life to lead you astray those lessons and challenges to cause you to move off your path. Connect with your soul and tune in, for you will know what is right for you in each and every moment. Honour that abundance mindset and know that your prayers are being answered. Okay, look at the next card. Ooh. Beautiful card. One of the favourite pictures on my deck, actually. The spirit animal of the owl. And the spirit animal of the owl is asking you to notice those aspects of yourself that go unseen. Very much like the shadow. Many people think of the owl as that omen, you know. But from my perspective, it's all about connecting with the darker aspects of yourself and your life so that you can honor them so that you can appreciate them so that you can bring those unseen aspects to life so that you can embrace the wholeness of who you are so that's a another beautiful card you can see as i've showed you the picture it's it's a stunning photo isn't it you know so what i do is i'll read out from the back again if we look the spirit animal of the owl. So the spirit animal of the owl brings the message of clairvoyance, seeing that which goes unseen. Great wisdom comes from acknowledging both the darkness and the light, as this brings wholeness. The power of the owl is in becoming the silent observer as you intuit situations in your life. Use the owl to bring you clarity as you awaken to the truth within you. If you've pulled this card, then now is the time to notice the shifts in your environment. Be honest with yourself and what is being presented with you. Allow yourself to see beyond the illusions and masks as you notice what is beneath the surface. Gaining a greater understanding will serve both you and others well. So that's a beautiful card. And you could say this may be about noticing shapeshifters in your life that may not have the best intentions for you. Um, as you notice them, again, you can move away from those people that don't not serve you and your purpose in this world so that you can be in a place of peace but also it's about looking at yourself and those unseen aspects of your soul what has been hidden for many many years what are you denying and not allowing yourself to look at because as these parts of yourself come to surface 
You need to begin accepting them and appreciating them. For they are a part of you. They're not there to be denied. Once you do begin accepting them though, that's when you start to truly love yourself at that deepest of levels. And self-love is the key. And I personally don't believe you can have true self-love if you're denying those shadow aspects. Because you could say you're just playing a mask over yourself and not showing up as who you truly are. But this could also be about intuiting situations in your life so that you can notice your surroundings. Notice the people who walk beside you. Do they have the best of intentions for you? Or are they just out of alignment and don't have, you know, as I said, the best intentions for you each and every day? They might be speaking about you behind your back and doing some things that aren't savoury, you could say. So allow yourself to be truthful and honest with whatever is appearing on your path right now. Whether it's aspects of yourself and your shadow, whether it's noticing people in your life and on your path that don't serve you, or whether it's that you're maybe doing things that aren't in alignment with who you are, maybe job or position of work, it's out of alignment, it's not serving you, and you need potentially to move on with something that will light your soul on fire every day so that there is the spirit animal of the owl beautiful card absolutely beautiful card to start this reading let me now have a look at this final card very very interesting and it very much relates to again what we've just been speaking about I'll just bring that up to the camera so you can see it here we have the full moon Full moon is very self-explanatory and the full moon is all about illuminating aspects of yourself and your soul again that may have gone hidden for many many years because as you see a full moon it may be dark at night but one thing about full moons is they light the sky and they light up your surroundings light up aspects of yourself and illuminate your soul. So again, if we think about the owl, the full moon very much connected here. It's about honouring those unseen and hidden aspects of yourself, honouring and appreciating them. Often in full moons, you know, emotions come up, can appear from, you know, previous traumas that you may have experienced in life. Or you know, other aspects of your life and your past journey that you need to heal from, release and let go. So whatever is showing up with regards to this full moon card, again, allow yourself to accept it, heal it and let it go. Because that is what will help you gain that sense of wholeness and fulfillment in your life. Again, I'm going to read from the pack. Look at what, what it's showing us right now. Full moons occur when the sun and the moon are opposite one another. They represent the culmination of energies, the completion of one cycle and the beginning of another. When the moon is at its fullest, it illuminates aspects of ourselves, which may have been previously hidden. As our wounds become visible, it's an opportunity to release, let go, and use the power of intention to manifest what you truly desire. If you have chosen this card, this is the ideal time for balance and integrating your energy. Notice any situations that may be ending. Allow closure to occur to make space for the new bring your visions to mind 
and manifest it into your reality. So full moons, however much they're about illuminating aspects of yourself, they're a great time for you to manifest. Manifest what you truly desire and want in your life. As those energies, you know, come to a head in order for you to release, let go and honour what those emotions and feelings might be. So with that, I'll just summarise the reading. We go through those cards once more. So transcendence. Transcendence, as we've already mentioned, is all about transcending your earthly body. Transcending all those lessons and learnings and, and noticing that they're there to serve you in a way that you can grow and develop. You can move forward on your path and start aligning with your soul. Because transcending is all about the integration of your mind, your body and your soul. You connect with spirit. You align yourself with what is right and true for you in each and every moment. As you begin to let go of all those things that no longer serve you, allow yourself to connect with that abundance mindset as you embrace the spirit animal of the buffalo. Know that the buffalo is bringing the message of abundance, knowing that abundance will appear in your life if you have trust and faith on your journey. Know that your prayers are being answered in each and every moment as you move forward on your path. Here we have this spirit animal of the owl again. It's all about embracing those unseen aspects so that you can heal, release and let go so that you can truly love and appreciate yourself. Spirit animal of the owl is absolutely beautiful. But allow yourself to intuit situations in your life so that you can live from your heart and soul and do what is right and true for you in each and every moment. Finally, the last card of this reading was the full moon. And as we'd already mentioned, the full moon is very self-explanatory, which is all about embracing the path ahead again, but more about illuminating aspects of yourself and your soul, maybe aspects of your shadow that can be healed from and released and let go. But more importantly, now is the time for you to manifest what you truly desire and want so that you can transcend on your path. You can transcend your earthly body and connect with spirit as you embrace your mind, your body and your soul. So with that, I will say thank you for tuning in. I hope you found this reading to be valuable and useful. If you have any questions or comments, as I've already mentioned, please leave them in the comment section below. If you're watching this on YouTube, or you can visit my website at www.awakenyoursoulpathway.co.uk. And if you would like a personal soul pathway reading, where we explore where you are now, what it is you're going through, so that you can step into your personal power, so that you can embrace the wholeness and beauty of who you are, then please feel free to you know, connect with me at my website and send me a message. Also, now providing shamanic healing sessions to assist you on your path, and you can reach out to me again on my website to book in a healing if you would like one. But with that, I will say take care, much love, and I wish you all the best through this Lionsgate portal, as you connect with your purpose and your passion, as you set your soul on fire through the month of August. Take care, much love, and I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Bye for now. Awaken your soul pathway and shift from self to soul download our free app on the google play store where you can disconnect from your mind in order to reconnect with your soul as you awaken to your spiritual journey and connect with your soul from within 
Learn from one of our many courses available on Udemy. We have our Archetypes for Life program, where you can connect with your inner world in order to transform your outer world. We also have your Awaken Your Inner Warrior course, where you can learn how to balance your masculine and feminine within. You can even take the journey of divine love to embrace your soulmate or twin flame. Or you can honor and heal your shadow as you shift it from darkness to light. Gain deeper insights from spirit as you connect with your soul and awaken your soul pathway with our Soul Pathway Oracle Cards. Visit www.thesoulpathway.com for more information.